Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Space Guy here, using the face cam today. So today I wanted to talk about this little thing I saw on Reddit the other day. Now normally I'm not on Reddit that much, I'll just browse every now and then. Pretty evident by my one karma on Reddit that I don't really post anything, I just kind of lurk. But I was looking at the technology subreddit and I found this thread about uh, Elon Musk. So apparently Elon Musk has taken 9% stake in Twitter to become the top shareholder. Tesla Inc. top boss Elon Musk revealed a 9.2% stake in Twitter worth nearly $3 billion, making him the microblogging site's largest shareholder and triggering a more than 25% rise in the company's shares. So holy shit, $3 billion is a ton of money. And I think to be specific, he bought 74 to 75 million shares. Why 9.2% to be specific? Well, uh, I looked it up and I think if I remember reading right, once you buy 10% plus or more, you start having to fill out some pretty rigorous and specific paperwork with uh, the stock market or whatever. And it just looks like there's a lot of hoops and jumps you need to go through to do so. Not only that, but... uh. Even if you wanted to buy all of it, not everyone who has stock in Twitter is going to want to sell you their shares. So even if he wanted to, it's kind of impossible to buy all of it. But it looks like he bought a majority of what was out there to be bought. And 9.2% is a lot. For reference, I think Jack, the Twitter founder, only has 2.5% or so, which is crazy. But why would he buy so much? So going back to this Reddit thread I was talking about, a lot of people were saying a lot of different reasons as to why he would do this. This guy here was saying, also last week he was throwing a tantrum over Twitter, removing some more psycho posts he made that violated the platform TOS. Guess he decided to follow that tantrum up by staging a hostile takeover of the company so he can actually have the power to fire any Twitter executives that don't make it an internal policy that the TOS doesn't apply to Elon Musk's tweets. So obviously this dude has a pretty raging hate boner for Elon Musk. I can see his little three inch chub protruding through his tidy whities as he typed this. But what he's saying is just wrong. Buying that much of a company does not mean you own the company, okay? Twitter is owned by multiple people. Well, besides the CEO, there's a ton of people in leadership positions at Twitter and other large platforms of social media and companies in general. You know, buying that much of the company doesn't just make you an omnipotent being who can do whatever they want or make it so the rules don't abide to them. That's just not how this sort of thing works. But again, it's Reddit and this guy, even though what he said was wrong, got 5,000 upvotes because they don't like billionaires and a lot of people don't like Elon Musk and for knowing some of the stuff he's done, I can't blame them. But that's besides the point. Let's go look at his uh, Twitter here. So recently he's been tweeting a lot of stuff kind of like this. Now I'm not on Elon Musk's Twitter much. When I do look at it, all I really see are like random memes and shit or stuff pertaining to uh, Tesla or SpaceX. But lately he's been tweeting stuff such as this. Free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? Yes or no? It was a poll he started, and he also went on to say, the consequences of this poll will be important. Please vote carefully. And as you can see from the poll results, most people voted no. Well, the interesting thing is with these companies, uh, free speech only really applies to you and the government, okay? It doesn't apply to you and private companies. Private companies, when you sign up for these private companies like Twitter or Instagram or anything else, there's a terms of service you have to abide by, and even though nobody reads those because they're way too long, which they do on purpose, by the way, it's so long because they know nobody's going to read all that shit. They do outline in there their rules as to what you can say and stuff like that on the platforms. So they, in all honesty, they have every right to kind of control what is and is not allowed to be said on there. Even if what you said is not really violating anything in terms of like national law or something like that, which I mean, I understand to a degree, but at the same time, I get where Elon Musk is coming from. A lot of these websites will ban or silence people for saying pretty mild things. For example, on the Xbox One, a few years ago, I used to be pretty into this game called Speedrunners. Now, Speedrunners is like a platforming racer game, 
It's kind of like Mirror's Edge mixed with Mario Kart or Parkour mixed with Mario Kart. It's pretty fun, but there is a competitive section on this game, and I did play competitive a lot, and I would get pretty sweaty, and I'd get pretty pissed off when people would beat me. I remember this one guy in particular, he beat me in a race or whatever, and I DM'd him on Xbox calling him a pussy. That's all I said, pussy. And just for saying that, I was banned from Xbox communications for a week. Now, I think shit like that, getting that sort of punishment for that is just downright ridiculous. The punishment doesn't fit the, the crime. People shouldn't be getting silenced for pretty mild insults towards one another, especially on Twitter, considering so many arguments and stuff happen on Twitter. I mean, just recently, if you've seen the, well, I'm sure everyone's seen it, the Will Smith and Chris Rock incident at the Oscars or whatever that was, there were tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people fighting over who was in the right, who was in the wrong, and a bunch of other shit. Going on Twitter every day, no matter where you look, is kind of like a w active war zone at all times. You could be walking just through a thread, and you're kind of like walking through no man's land in a World War I trench warfare battle. You can just get unloaded on. It's like you're watching the uh, political leaders of the world fight over the holy land on Twitter. It's crazy. So just considering the volatile environment of Twitter, people really shouldn't get censored for stuff like that. But I don't know if that's what Elon Musk is referring to specifically. He could just be referring to his deleted tweets that I have not seen. I'm not sure. But he goes on to tweet and follow up with this tweet saying, given that Twitter serves as the de facto public town square, failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy. What should be done? Is a new platform needed? So it's come, becoming pretty evident from what he's saying. He wants Twitter or other social media platforms to operate more just how America naturally operates. As in, you can get away with a lot more, you say, like mild insults or whatever. And uh, yeah, but I think it is kind of ridiculous because these websites will ban you for saying stuff like that. But then they'll allow people who are like pro pedophilia, like MAP or other shit, like just spreading lies and fake news, or like flat earthers, people who think the moon is made out of cheese, stuff like that. They're allowed to share that stuff without issue, but then the second you call some guy a sapine protoplasmic invertebrate jelly, you get banned. It's fucking ridiculous. But I digress. On to another thing he tweeted. He said, he made another tweet yesterday saying, do you want an edit button? Yes or no? Or you see an on? I voted yes. I think a edit button on Twitter would be beneficial, especially if you tweet something with a uh, typo or st accidentally tweet something that's not true, like you're trying to tweet about some breaking news and then another development comes and it just kind of makes you look stupid. You should be able to edit just simple stuff like that. But obviously there should be like some sort of edit history so you can see what the original tweet said to just, just to make sure someone's not covering something up. But that would be a good change for sure. So obviously, just given the context of these tweets, and especially since this one yes was yesterday when he bought all those shares in Twitter, it's pretty obvious Elon Musk is trying to bring some sort of change to Twitter, which I think is interesting considering who he is and what he does, being the founder of Tesla and SpaceX and a bunch of other shit. You think he'd be more occupied with stuff that's a little bit more important than social media? I know social media has a grasp on pretty much everybody, but still, I think the other things that he is involved in are a little bit more important. But just looking at his tweet history of the memes and shit that he tweets, it's pretty obvious this dude has a lot of free time, like blinding white, white Bondi, Bondi Namco logo, closest thing to sunlight elder, Elden Ring player has seen in weeks. <laughs> it's, he tweets some pretty funny shit, but it's just like considering his age and what he does, I wonder if he even knows what any of this shit means. And if these, if he does understand like what these memes mean, that's kind of based. But then, yeah, another article came out today about Elon Musk saying Elon Musk to join Twitter's board it says significant improvements are coming. So I was thinking this yesterday while I was brainstorming this video and just looking at articles and stuff. And then today when I went to record, I find this. So yeah, obviously he was planning to do something with Twitter. Looking into the article, it says Twitter CEO and board member Parag Agrawal, sorry if I'm butchering your name by the way, sir, said Tuesday that the company's board had conversations with Musk in recent weeks. 
He's both a passionate believer and intense critic of the service, which is exactly what we need on Twitter and in the boardroom to make us stronger in the long term. Welcome, Elon. So Elon's just taking the role of Superman here, and he's planning to try and fix Twitter for the better, which I think is a good thing. I just think it's he's like the weirdest person to be doing it. I was hoping Twitter would just catch on to this shit themselves, but clearly they don't seem to be able to. Because I personally also agree, Twitter is kind of a cesspool, and it's annoying to use, and it's annoying to see people get punished for really simple shit, and see people not get punished for pretty outlandish shit that deserves punishment. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this stuff with you guys because I thought it was interesting. Elon Musk, again, continues to perplex me with the weird shit he does. But again, I hope he does bring some positive change to Twitter and makes it a more positive platform for everyone, especially in this sphere of YouTube, like gamers and stuff. There's a lot of influencers or large content creators and a lot of large audiences who are actively using Twitter on the daily. So to make it just better is just a win-win for everyone. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this because I thought it was kind of funny and interesting. So like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I appreciate you stopping by and have a good day, guys. See ya.